we'll start this demo on our team site where I've modified the test prototype library to have a project field. So if we go to the library settings and then scroll down, we can see here is our field and notice it's manage metadata. And if I go to the details for the field, you can see that it is attached to the project's term set in the manage code group. And if we go over to SharePoint Manager, you'll see that I have the lists open for the demo site already. Here's our test list. And if I open that up and then go into its fields and scroll down a little bit, we can see there's both our project and our project zero field. So I'll take a look at the project zero field first. If we go to its schema, you'll notice it's a note field. And if we scroll over, you'll see it says show in view forms is false, hidden is equal to true. And I think that's all of the important pieces. So basically, again, this is a hidden note field and it's associated with the taxonomy field. Now, if we go to the taxonomy field itself and take a look at its schema, you can see it's a taxonomy field. But in addition to the information in the field itself, we have all of this customization information. And it's this information that actually attaches the taxonomy field to the term set. So we could use this XML as is, and we would get the field attached to the term set, but it's much more flexible if you actually use code. So when we create the field, we're only going to take the information out of the top part here, the actual field element and its attributes. So let's do that. I'll come back to our Visual Studio project and here's the code we had before to create the library. So you can see here is the code to create the year and the coordinator fields. Now let's create the taxonomy field. So let's go to the end of this line, add a couple lines in, and then paste in this code. So here I'm using add field as XML to create a new field of type taxonomy field. And the display name and the internal name will be project. And then we have a couple attributes, show field and version, which are used internally by the taxonomy field. So that creates the field. Now we need to attach the field to the project's term set. To do that, we need the term store ID and the term set ID. So I'll use this code to get information about the term set. So we'll go get the taxonomy session, and then we'll go get the term store object for our managed metadata service. Then we'll get an object representing the JavaScript term group and then finally an object representing the project's term set. And then what I need to do is take the ID of this object and the ID of this object and pass them to properties of this object. So to be able to do that, I'm gonna to need to load those objects. So I'll come down here just before execute query async and put in the code to load the objects. Once execute query async completes, I'll be able to actually set those properties. So let's create a function for that. So this execute query async, we'll call this method. So I'll just change that. And then inside of success one, we'll have another call to execute query async, which we'll call the method just down below there. So that'll be success two, and I'll just rename this to success two. And then in here, we'll set the properties of the taxonomy field. Now, as far as the client object model is concerned, this object is an SP field. That's what gets returned from add field as XML. But we need to treat it as a taxonomy field. So the first thing I'm going to do down here is do a cast. So I'll say var tax field two is equal to context dot cast two. And I want to cast the tax field object to an SP dot taxonomy dot taxonomy field. Then I need to give tax field to the store ID and the property I'm going to set is SSP ID. So tax field to dot set underscore SSP ID. And that is going to be the ID property of the store object. Now 
And then I also need to set the term set ID property of the tax field too. And that is going to be the ID of the set object. And then finally, I need to call update. All right, so we're ready to test out our work. So I'll get out of full screen and I'll retract the app to ensure that the project documents library isn't there. That's done. Now I'll press F5 to install and run our app. When I see the trust dialog, I'm gonna click trust it. And then before I click create library, let's go over to SharePoint Manager and let's just come up to our sites and let's go to dev and then all webs. Actually, let's just refresh here on dev first and then go to all webs, JavaScript, CSOM demo, lists. So you don't see project documents in here. Come back to our app, click create library. We get list added. Come back over to SharePoint Manager, right click, refresh. Right, so there's project documents. If we go to the browser, there is our manage metadata field. And if we come back over here and then expand the fields, we should see we have project, that's our taxonomy field, and then project zero, that is the hidden note field that's associated with the taxonomy field. So that's the JavaScript code to add a taxonomy field. Now let's take a look at the equivalent manage code. Once again, the manage code is virtually identical to what we saw in the JavaScript code. So opening up here, I have the create library, right? And then here is where we actually create the project documents library. We add in both our year and coordinator field then we add in our taxonomy field. We get the taxonomy information, or at least we get the objects that represent the taxonomy information. We load the tax field, the ID for the store, and the ID for the term set. And then we call execute query. Then we cast the tax field we were given here to a taxonomy field. We set the SSP ID to the term store ID. We set the term set ID to the term set ID, we call update, and then we call execute query again. So if I get it a full screen and then come over to our demo site and then open up project documents here and go to library, library settings and delete the library. And then come back over to our application, hit F5 to run, click the create library button. So we list added. Come back over to demo, do a refresh, and then go to project documents. There is our new field. And then if we go to library settings here and then come down to our project field, click on that guy, we can see it is a taxonomy field that's hooked up to the project's term set in the manage code term group. Now that our project documents library has a taxonomy field, the next step is to update the code we use when we upload a document to set that field value. And that's what we'll see next.